We are back, the 6-5 Summit 2021. We've been leaking some stuff out on Twitter, but Daniel, man, we're back, baby. And uh, we're, we're doing recordings, we're jumping on airplanes, uh, we're, we're having, uh, having a good time here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash up uh, some stuff here just, just, to get this, just, to, just to get this going. Yeah, you teased it earlier if people were paying attention, but... Uh... No, well, I know. If I can get people. this, uh, if I can get this, uh, I can get this right. There's so, Daniel, why don't you kick this off, and we'll just kind of go back and forth. Absolutely, Pat. So we could not be more excited to announce our second annual Six Five Summit. For those that did not catch it last year, it was kicked off by uh, Dell CEO and Chairman Michael Dell. Uh, we had Lisa Sue, President and CEO of AMD, and Doug Merritt, the gentleman that runs Splunk. Uh, also helped keynote, but we had a great event last year. This year, the whole idea was to be bigger, better, and better in the best way possible than our last year event. And we have a lineup, Pat, that I think anybody could get excited about. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we have the top companies out there uh, in the industry. This is the who's who. And I will tell you, we had some people who they saw this slide uh, and they're trillion dollar companies. They asked to be part of it. And unfortunately, we had to uh, turn them away. We hate to do that, but uh, we, we, can't have, uh, we can't have everybody. But I'm just thrilled at the, at the breadth uh, of this. And um, you know, as Daniel was saying before, uh, we take feedback from our community very seriously. And they said, hey, you know, we asked them, hey, what can we do to make this better? And they told us, first of all, don't jam this all into two days. So we went to uh, five days. Uh, we went to 12 topics. We, we manicured them, and I'll, I'll get to that slide a little later. Uh, we have 40, we have six executive keynotes, 40 spotlight sessions, and they also said, you know, hey, Pat, add a live element uh, to this. So we're going to have, after each day, daily executive uh, Q&As uh, out there. Uh, from a um, content perspective, similar to last year, but we have made uh, some, some nips uh, and tucks. And I, I challenge you to find something in here that, that we missed. And by the way, it's enterprise apps, not enterprise SaaS. SaaS is included, but we also have people who will be talking about applications that you create uh, on-prem or, or in the cloud. And in which, by the way, most applications uh, are like that. So we are pleased uh, to have uh, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger uh, kick off uh, the summit. Uh, Pat started his career 30 years uh, at Intel, uh, and he uh, then joined uh, VMware, uh, where he ultimately became a CEO and is in his first hundred days. And, and Pat's going to talk about his perspective. And, you know, you can think Intel is involved in all the way from the edge to the deep edge, all the way through to the data center and everything in between. So he has a unique perspective on this and also with the importance of semiconductors, the strategic nature of semiconductors. Uh, I, I'm really excited uh, to what he's going to bring to the table. Yeah, Pat. And then we have a, a whole, you know, week of outstanding keynotes. And basically, as you saw, we had our 12 topics and we broke them up into, you know, multi-layers where we found hopefully pretty adjacent or uh, complementary. So, you know, Pat will kick us off. And then our first day is dedicated to cloud and infrastructure where we have Allison Dew, the CMO and EVP of Dell, uh, leads their entire as a service business model that's recently been rolled out at their event called Project Apex. We have the office of the CTO and VP of Advanced Technology, Chris Wolf from VMware, that will lead our apps and collaboration uh, day, where we have another tremendous number of speakers. We'll talk more about them. Uh, on the third day, 5G Edge and IoT, we are super excited to have Darius Adamchek. He is the CEO and chairman of Honeywell, pretty big company. We talked about them here on the show today. On day four, uh, super happy, couldn't be more pleased than to have CEO and president of AMD, Lisa Sue, return after giving a keynote last year. I mean, what an honor. And actually on day four and five, two of our original keynotes, OG of our events, <laughs> are coming back. And that is um, 
Doug Merritt, president and CEO of Splunk. And here's the amazing thing, Pat. We're going to run you through the days quickly. We have speakers of these calibers all the way throughout the event. So spotlights and Q, it's just going to be, it's just going to be fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be, I'm excited. So uh, real quick, uh, day one is all about cloud and, and infrastructure. And you can see here, we have most of the leaders in cloud and many of the leaders uh, in infrastructure. Uh, we have uh, Azure, uh, we have Intel, we have IBM, uh, we have um, the president of Honeywell coming in to talk about the quantum cloud, SAP, uh, pure storage, uh, and 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 Marvell and and for those who aren't familiar, uh, Marvell has a lot of silicon in the public cloud, and we also have Oracle Cloud with Clay uh, McGurk, which, quite frankly, uh, they they have uh, amazed me in in what they're doing with their uh, a Gen two uh, cloud. Yeah, and then on the second apps and collaboration day, as mentioned, you know, kicked off by VMware talking about app development, but then we've got Salesforce. Oracle coming back to talk about the app side of their business. Microsoft, we have collaboration coming from the CEO of Poly. Um, we'll be uh, hearing from T-Mobile, which is a little bit of a different uh, spin on collaboration and apps. Um, then we're going to have Zoho, which is another very interesting company for that mid-market space. Um, and then, um, What's that last one there, Pat? I'm trying to read it. Uh, Cisco. My God, I you know we have so many sessions. I'm losing my I'm losing my mind. Cisco talking about the WebEx platform. So another really big action packed day. Yeah, let's go into uh, day three. All about five G edge and, and IoT. And like we said before, uh, kicked off uh, by OT and uh, upcoming IT leader uh, Honeywell. Uh, we have uh, Jim Anderson uh, from Lattice big player in semiconductors in the edge, uh, T-Mobile, I mean, T-Mobile and 5G, come on folks, uh, leaders in 5G in, in North America, uh, Marvell uh, coming in, leaders in edge, Silicon, a lot of those uh, 5G base stations that you see out there uh, uh, have their uh, Silicon in it. We have Siemens, another uh, IT, OT uh, play here, Lenovo talking about the edge, Cristiano Amon, CEO elect uh, from Qualcomm. I mean, come on, 5G and the edge and IoT, that's pretty much Qualcomm. Bill Voss, VP of engineering from, from AWS talking edge, super excited to have AWS uh, for the first time uh, this year. And finally, uh, Cisco talking about uh, cloud security on the edge. Awesome. Sassy, baby. We're gonna talk sassy. All right, day four, Pat. I don't know. I'm glad this one <laughs> fell to me and our back and forth. Um, look, we, we we like chips and sass, so you know that about us if you've listened to this show for a while. But I don't know that we could have. I mean, you've heard about some serious semiconductor players throughout the week that aren't even on our semiconductor day. No. Our semiconductor day is off the charts. Uh, we're going to be talking to, you know, from the device and the chip making side, Lisa Sue kicking us off. We've got the CEO of HP giving us some vision from the what the PC makers are thinking about when it comes to chips. And we're gonna have Simon Seeger, CEO of ARM, Jensen Huang, CEO <laughs> of NVIDIA. We've got Dario Gill, who basically leads the a lot of the hard uh, tech for IBM. We got Tom Caulfield, which you'll see regularly on, on the networks talking about the chip and supply shortage business of Global Foundries. Jim Elliott, who leads uh, basically the semiconductor business for Samsung here in the Americas. We have Matt Murphy, the president and CEO of Mark Bell. This is just a ridiculous lineup. We have the, the uh, Kavon who leads the manufacturing for Intel. Um, and then we have uh, Robin, uh, Robin um, Tyler. Yeah, sorry, it's a little blurry on my end, but um, from Microsoft Surface. So we've got the device side and then AWS, by the way, is sneaking in here. Um, we've got the device side, Pat. We've got the chip side. We've got the foundry, the fabs. Uh, we've got, gosh, this day, th this this day is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be oh, it so is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, and then you, you know, like you said, you tie in uh, the other semiconductor uh, CEOs that we have uh, throughout. We pretty much uh, uh, it's a who's who of semiconductors, and like you said, 
semiconductors and SaaS. Okay, let's go to day five. Again, AI, machine learning, and big data kicked off, uh, like we said earlier, CEO of Splunk. We have the president uh, of, of Cloudera, the CEO of Automation Anywhere, the CEO of Grok, up and coming uh, AI and machine learning uh, play. And then we have uh, head of software at H HPE and CTO. And if you haven't been watching HPE, uh, basically all their announcements have been around software, uh, which uh, is, is, uh, is, is excellent. Uh, we have the office of the CTO, uh, Client Solutions Office, uh, out of um, uh, Dell Technologies. Uh, we have Red Hat. Uh, we have C3 AI, and we have UiPath from an automation uh, point of view. Another heavy hitting day to round it out, Daniel. I am super excited. Yeah, Pat, I, I got to tell you. Five days, an outstanding lineup. Now, whatever tech interests you, we're going to have some of the leading minds and the biggest, most prolific companies in this space. This has been a lot of work. And by the way, the work's not done. Pat and I are recording these conversations and these interviews still day in and day out. Our team is building the event platform. We are going to really uh, hope to inspire our audience to bring five days of just tech bliss for everybody that's out there and, and getting access. And these aren't two minute media clips or really short little segments with one or two. We're getting 15, 20, 25 minutes of interactive yeah. discussion with these people, Pat. And, and you could just take this week and say, I want to get my virtual MBA in all things tech. Oh, and you could listen to these people and you will be the smartest person at Thanksgiving this fall. I love it. I love it, man. Um, wow. What a show. I'm super excited. Register now at 65summit.com.